<laughs> it is steep and long and every step it hurts. Another freezing night. Sick of protein bars. Yeah, it's beautiful here. We just felt super rejuvenated. Pretty happy. This trail's been really nice today. Wow, this is just amazing. Another day in paradise. It's beautiful. Wow, it's so pretty. It's 10 a.m. We just packed up. Slept pretty well. I had to curl my legs up a bit because it was so cold. Packed up our tent with ice on it. I'll have to dry that out later. Today's hike shouldn't be too bad. We're going over Mather Pass today. 1,000 feet down, 2,000 feet up, 1,000 feet down to Palisades Creek. Just over 11 miles. Skies are clear. Should be a good day. Even down here, the creek is frozen. And has yet to thaw. It's pretty over here though. Just got to the approach from Mather Pass. And it's the lowest pass I've ever seen. Nice and low. Just got down Mather Pass and I was super thirsty because <laughs> we didn't bring that much water up. But it wasn't too long of a climb or descent, so we're gonna continue on to Palisades Creek. It's gonna be a steep, steep decline but potentially very pretty. It's golden hour. We'll be going down the golden staircase. That's cool. Wow, this is just amazing. about 12 30. I just realized I haven't taken any footage today. Yesterday was another long arduous day. We decided to just keep hiking because it was so pretty and the golden light was hitting the golden staircase. We started down and found out quickly that the golden staircase was really brutal. We both have not the best knees. Pretty agonizing going down. It is steep and long and every step hurts. Maybe 15 and a half miles that day. Started hiking at 8 a.m. We're doing 13, about 13 miles today. And we only have five miles left. Quite a climb coming up. It's about 2,300 feet, but I feel pretty good today. We just passed Little Pete Meadow and we just have five miles left. So I think we can stop earlier today, chill at our campsite for once, instead of hiking from sunrise to sunset. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Another day in paradise. Climbing, climbing, climbing. So we just got to our campsite. It's in this little grove of 
trees. I'm just gonna set up our tent, make dinner, and still have a couple hours of daylight for the first time. So we can just chill, relax, and enjoy the scenery. This is our campsite for the night. It's just two miles below Mirror Pass. It's got an amazing view of Lacan Canyon. It's cold and windy, but it's a little bit sheltered by these trees. Look at that moon, just front and center. Pretty happy. We had um, dinner sitting out on this the edge of the cliff by our campsite looking down at the lake and the sunset and it was really pretty and the food was super good. And now we're about ready to go to bed. Finally have some time to just chill and relax in our tent. Probably you'll still knock out right away but I'm looking forward to reading my book. And then tomorrow we'll do Mirror Pass. a.m. We just packed up and we're ready to go over Mirror Pass. Beautiful morning. The sun comes out early over here. We both slept really well around nine and a half to ten hours. The morning light from our campsite. The water is just sparkling down there. I think so. Yeah, after John Muir's daughter. Trail's been really nice today. All decline, very flowy, soft. I want to get close to MTR so that we can get there early ish tomorrow and rummage through all the hiker boxes. A lot of the hikers that we've come across said there's nine hiker boxes that are just super full of things. I want to find more spam singles and ramen, but no more protein bars. Sick of protein bars. It's about 7.30. We ate our breakfast, packed up. <laughs> Last night we collected our sleeping bags again. I stayed warmer this time, but I still fell into the gap and it was a little uncomfortable. We ended up doing 14 miles yesterday and my feet were really sore at the end of the day. We only have 7.5 miles today, so <sighs> now we can soak in the hot spring. So excited. That was freezing. We just put our shoes back on. My toes are still numb. That was literally just like ice water. Wow. They're just totally unfazed by how cold the water is. Mom's leading the way. Oh, <laughs> I almost walked right into it. Wow, they're fast. Ah. 
Going back into the John Lee wilderness. Here at MTR. Going through our resupply bucket and packing our canister for the next five days. Side A in the final check in our log cabin at MTR. Check. And we are all packed up and ready to go. Goodbye, MTR. We just climbed all the way from that valley down there to up here. We have more to go. I think we're gonna try to go over Sullivan Pass today, which apparently is only 600 feet elevation gain from Sally Keys Lake. So we're doing the hard part right now, getting up to Sally Keys. I think it's around 3,000 foot elevation gain, something like that. So we're at Sally Keys Lake, which is right after we finished the climb out of MTR. Staying at MTR was such a good decision. It's super expensive, but we got there, we did our laundry, everything dried, everything's clean, and then we went to the hot springs and soaked. Their hot springs is so nice. It's like this oasis, it's just beautiful. And the water's fresh and super hot, and all your muscles just like completely relax. Rested in our rooms for a bit, and then dinner was at 6.30, and it was super good. They had pot roast, mashed potatoes with gravy, it's a really good salad. We ate a lot, so I ate like too much, and then you had to go bathroom really bad. But it was great, and we talked to some other hikers for a long time, and then we went to bed and had a really good sleep. Breakfast was served at 7 a.m., so we went and ate that, and that was super good too. They had two types of frittatas, potatoes, bacon. It's like a blueberry cake twist thing that was really good especially when you're drinking it with hot coffee and um, after that we went for a second soak in the hot springs and that was even more relaxing but yeah we just felt super rejuvenated and then we left we ran into a lot of hikers that we met along the trail and we chatted with them um, yeah it's just super super nice so glad we stayed there oh I forgot to mention that they also had us pack lunches so that we could bring them out on our hike. So we made three sandwiches with lots of mayo and we just ate them by the lake and they were so good. Heart Lake, right below Selden Pass. It's cute. Yeah. It's shaped like a heart. It's kind of hard to tell from here, but yeah. Heart. <laughs> the end. So we just reached the top of Selden Pass and this is Meridi Lakes. It's beautiful. This pass was not bad at all. Not too hard. And it's probably gonna get easier and easier. So we just set up camp and now we're boiling water for dinner and enjoying the sunset. Well, I guess the sunset hasn't quite started, but the light is real pretty right now. I didn't realize we did 14 miles. It did feel kind of long, but we got here early. It's only 4 p.m. Now we're waiting for the ferry to VVR. We got here about an hour early, so we're just chilling like everyone else. What'd you choose? Uh, I chose the uh, General Sherman IPA. Oh, I think I've had that before. Yeah. 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 South, yeah. Cool. You guys? North down, north down. How is it so far for you? Uh, it's been, uh, hey, it's been not too bad. I think like we... Ooh, like, you're yes, sweet. Oh, you're sweet. Oh, you're clean like, too. Yeah, hail and rain yeah. um, on our first two days. As we were this going is the fairy the dog. Yeah. Are you actually paying attention to people now? <laughs> 
I'm surprised how clean he is. Yeah. It's actually like not that dirty. Maybe he jumps in the lake. Yesterday, I, I think her name's Alice. I think oh, it's a her? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yesterday she was like at work. She was like not. Yeah. Heading up from VBR. Boarding the ferry. Oh, it's so pretty. This is like Edison. That's our ferry down there. It's a little pontoon. Climbing Silver Pass. The last pass, I think. We just finished lunch down there in the forest. Picked up some stuff from the hiker box at VBR. Some really heavy stuff, but it was delicious. We had veggie tikka masala over a naked burrito. It was the perfect combo. It tasted so good. It was nice to have something with some Asian spices in it, but I also feel like I the smell is like all over me now. Yeah, we were gonna do a zero or a narrow day today, a near zero, but we just decided to go ahead and climb the pass because it felt pretty good and got off the ferry early. Also, my ankle feels better. I got um, an elastic bandage and I wrapped it just during lunch, so it's much more stabilized now. So we're just coming up on Silver Pass, but um, yeah, today's pretty gusty. I heard that the winds will get up to 70 miles per hour in certain areas. This approach is not too bad, so I'm gonna hop over this, descend as far as my ankle is willing, and then camp for the day. This is what Silver Pass looks like from Silver Pass Lake. It's pretty small ascent. 